Hello YouTube, my name is Glory, and every once in a while I make tech videos, usually for something I really like or feel compelled to do so. And today is no exception because I got in the Sony MDR MA900 headphones. Now I don't consider myself an audiophile, I just consider myself um, a fan of nice technology. Um, I do buy good hardware and I always try to get something I feel matches my needs and today I found that. Thanks to Lachlan Likes a Thing, aka A Recording on HeadFi as well as Madlust Envy with his gaming thread on HeadFi, um, I was able to do some research on these headphones. Now <clears throat> before I get into this video I want to say that I have uh, used a few pairs of um, I'll call them mid-fi, not hi-fi, uh, middle-of-the-line headphones. I spent uh, anywhere from two to three hundred dollars on headphones. I've used Sennheiser's, I've used um, Audio-Technica 8900X. I've used a, a lot of recommended headphones on um, the market around that range. And all of them give me one big issue, and that issue was that after maybe half an hour, an hour, they start to really bother me, uh, usually due to clamping force, sometimes due to um, how warm they get in the ear cup. There's a lot of different reasons, but today the, the Sony MDR MA900 has really lived up to the expectations that I was hoping for. Now if you've seen Lachlan's video, or if you've seen his comparisons on HeadFi, you'll know right away he, he says these are the most comfortable headphones he's ever worn. And I have to say that I completely agree with them. These are just so light. They're feather light. They, f they fit on my head just really, really easily and naturally. Perfect. And they they sound great to me. Personally, I prefer them over the AD900X. Um, I feel that they are m more well-rounded, as others have suggested. Um, but the main reason why I feel that they're less fatiguing the AD900X does sound really well, um, might be a bit more exciting, but my ears definitely get a little bit fatigued after listening to them. Um, the treble is more explosive, uh, the sounds might be a little deeper, but these headphones are really mellow, I could wear these for hours and hours. The, the sound signature is perfect, perfectly fit for me, you get a nice um, balance of uh, bass and treble in my opinion With these headphones the sound stage is great but uh, number one is the comfort and there's just no No, no or even no one is even close to the comfort of these So I'm very happy to have found them. I do agree that the build quality is probably the weakest point of these headphones they are um, I believe it's some type of alloy, aluminum alloy, but they do feel like plastic. They look like plastic. Um, they are a bit flimsy and they do seem uh, insubstantial. The cloth, if these were pleather or leather, they'd look more premium. Um, Another issue I have is that your ear does touch the, the driver a little bit, although that's not a, not the biggest deal, but it, it does happen. If they use maybe a little bit more cushioning here, that they could have avoided that issue. But I do find that there is nice um, airflow here. You can see there's a cutout, so my ears don't get too warm. I really like the sound signature. And overall, they, for me, they've completely replaced my 8900Xs. I, um, I had issues with the fit. They would always slide down my head, the 3D wings. And these just fit the role perfectly of what I'm looking for. And that's just something I can wear for a long time without being bothered. So, perfect. Um, these are typically $300 US retail. You can find them on Amazon for right around $200. Um, I did get these from Amazon from a third party 
seller. Uh, it cost me about 210 after shipping. And I really like these. These are definitely right now my favorite. Uh, another issue I would say the, the wire, the cable is very thin. Uh, they do feel a bit cheap as well because of that. But it's not the biggest deal for me anyway. It's not a deal breaker. It does come with a adapter uh, to fit the other size headphones. I'm sorry, I'm a bit ignorant because I don't know the actual size, but uh it does come with the plug here. And I do have it set up right now into my Scarlett 2i2 audio interface, so I get really uh, nice audio quality with that. The plug actually doesn't even have a Sony logo, it just says Thailand on it. But, um, you know, that's okay. I, I, I kind of like that it's made in Thailand because my 8900Xs are actually made in China, and I find that most things are made in China these days, which isn't a terrible thing, but it's nice to see um, see products coming out of other countries. But either way, uh, very happy with these headphones. I do feel that the um, the headband adjustment could be a little better. It, they they really slide in and out a little bit too easily, but it's not a big deal as long as you're not messing with that part of the headphone. It shouldn't matter. But either way, I highly suggest this to anyone looking for comfortable headphones. And that's about it. Thank you.